Hello, everybody, and welcome inside the Reno Sparks Convention Center in Reno, Nevada. I'm Matt Lawson from Bowl TV. This is the site of the 2014 USBC Women's Championships, and in a lot of ways, it's a brand new tournament this year. Some changes to the format. Take a look. Throughout the years, the Women's Championships has always provided good times, good memories, and good friendships. And of course, good bowling. Now we get set to usher in a new era for the tournament. You spoke and we listened. The Women's Championships is moving to four-person teams, making scheduling easier for everyone, but still providing the same camaraderie you've grown to love. I think it's a celebration of all the women getting together for competition and meeting people that maybe you see only once a year and meeting new friends along the way. Everybody comes to compete, do their best. Hopefully they'll go home with a little bit of prize money, but the best part is seeing a different city and, and being with people. The tournament also moves away from handicap and into an all scratch format. With additional divisions to accommodate everyone, the Women's Championships promises to keep the competition high, but with more chances than ever to win. Hearing about the scratch format this year being a higher average bowler that doesn't get any handicap, it really made me happy that we're going to all scratch. It not only takes away the confusion of the handicap divisions, but it also gives bowlers more opportunity to do well because of the newly created divisions they made. And there's no better place to enjoy these changes than the specially built venue inside the Reno Sparks Convention Center, a state-of-the-art bowling palace for you to continue the tradition. The 2014 USBC Women's Championships. Your vision, your memories, your tournament. Please visit bowl.com slash tournaments to learn more. Alongside tournament director Eric Pearson. Eric also the guy in charge of the lane pattern. That's what we're here to talk about a little bit today. Uh, to start off with, uh, we've gone over this before, but for those at home who don't know, what goes into this process when you're putting together a pattern? Well, we always like to consider, you know, take a good look at our, our, our full range of bowlers that come to the tournament. We want to try and create ball reaction that's good for multiple styles of bowlers. Uh, you know, obviously ladies coming from all over, different, you know, wood lanes, plastic lanes, all over the country. So we just try to create overall good ball motion for as many people as we can. We like to take into consideration past tournaments. Obviously we're in the same venue as we were last year. So we definitely want to give the ladies just a slightly different look as they come back for this year's tournament. Yeah, and, and so let's get into a little bit more of the specifics. When you went back and looked at last year's scoring pace and last year how things went, what was it you were trying to change? What were you uh, hoping to gain from a new pattern? Um, just to change it up, give them a little different feel. Uh, we are going back to a scratch format. Uh, for the last couple of years, we had handicap incorporated into our tournament. So back to more divisions and scratch. Um, just to change it up a little bit, um, you know, bowling balls aren't getting any older, so we're going to try and use a little more volume this year and go a little bit longer with the pattern. And along with that, create a little more shape in the middle of the lane. Uh, the Women's Championships has never been a sport compliant pattern. It's always more in the blue ratio. So we will uh, we'll stay in that ratio, but go with a little more shape than we've had in the past. All right, let's go ahead and put the graph on the screen now. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. Well, the overall pattern, uh, 41 feet. Uh, a little more shape in the middle. We're going to get the ratio up mostly in the middle of the lane. Because we are going longer, uh, we are going to try and taper that oil down a little bit quicker at the back end of the pattern and, and maybe flatten it out a little bit. Uh, usually more oil in the middle further down the lane does make things play a little bit easier. So we, uh, we want to make them play nice, but we still want to keep that, that challenge of a Nationals pattern. Well, let's see some balls thrown on the pattern. We're lucky enough to have Team USA's Stephanie Johnson here with us. Let's go take a look as she throws a few and see what we see. Well, as we watch uh, Stephanie throw some balls here, uh, definitely want to uh, talk about different angles that are on the lanes. Uh, with medium patterns and the shape that we use, there's always multiple angles in our patterns. Uh, you can see here she's playing a little bit further to the left than maybe most ladies do. She turns the ball well and has a decent rev rate. So she actually tried some balls uh, to the outside part of the lane and saw plenty of friction and actually felt that her best look was moving to the left and getting more into the heavier concentration of oil for her game. Uh, one of the things we like to do is make sure that we have enough friction. Uh, we have a very wide range of bowlers averages that come to our ladies championships. And we want to make sure that there's plenty of hook on the lane uh, for the majority of our bowlers. So there is friction to the right. And as you migrate to the inside part of the lane, you will see 
of the higher concentration of oil to help the ball skid. And the overall length of 41 feet should also help that uh, this year as well. Well, all right, let's bring Stephanie in now. After throwing a few shots on it, uh, what's your initial reaction to the pattern? You know, with it being a foot longer, I still thought there was uh, a lot of variety as far as being able to play different parts of the lane. So I think it'll definitely be playable this year. Yeah, and that's probably exactly what you wanted to hear. That was that was the whole idea, right? We always shoot for plenty of hook, multiple angles. Uh, one question I have is, did you feel like you needed to throw really strong equipment or was your medium range stuff working fine? Was there plenty of hook on the lane? There was definitely pl plenty of hook. Um, I probably used a middle to higher end ball, um, strong layout, but overall, you know, my A game's pretty straight and it, the pattern kind of forced me in a little bit to find some more oil to get the ball down the lane, but by all means, it's very, very playable. All right, we'll leave you with one last look at the graph. A 41-foot pattern for the 2014 USBC Women's Championships taking place at the custom-built lanes inside the Reno Sparks Convention Center. We're so glad you're coming back to Reno to bowl with us, and we want you to have a great time while you're here. So we leave you today with a look at some of the best that the area has to offer. Bowl.com is helping you make the most out of your bowling vacation. Yes! Showing you the Reno Sparks area like you've never seen it before. From adventure to luxury, whether you're looking to roll up your sleeves or let down your hair, Reno has something for everyone. Just head to our Bowl TV channel on YouTube for some of the best that the area has to offer as USBC helps you rediscover Reno. And we'd like to thank all of you for caring enough about this tournament to tune in for your first look at the pack. It's the bowlers that make this event so memorable. From all of us here at USBC, I'm Matt Lawson. Good luck, good bowling, and we'll see you out in Reno.